All right, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, it'll be Chris, you know what I'm saying? I'm back with another vid. And today, I had a request. Somebody told me to do a back-to-school vid. So I'm coming with a little chill jump before the first day of school, you know, school coming up. So I'm about to tell y'all everything y'all need to know. Rules, tips, etc. Let's get straight into it. Just you as a student, I ain't a teacher That nigga hot, I had to delete him Mama always told me you niggas was leeching I'm smoking with this pressure, I'm thinking of Venus Nigga, my trap boom, bitch, every season Bitch, I'm a big dog, mixing the work Niggas calling me Chris Paul Driving a bucket, chop out a fishbowl Making them please Chopper. Rule number one Most important rule on the list Don't forget If you don't remember anything else I said Remember this Never snitch I don't care what the teacher offers you. She can offer you extra credit. She can offer you, uh, if you're in middle school, she can offer you recess, extra time on the playground. I don't care, never snitch. Because nobody likes to snitch, nobody. I don't care where you're from, nobody likes to snitch. Rule number two, you know what I'm saying? If you got snacks, share them. And if you don't want to share them, don't bring them out in the first place. Simple as that. Rule number three, you know what I'm saying? It's okay to be smart. I know y'all wasn't expecting me to say that, but it's okay to be smart. No girl likes a dummy. Simple as that. Rule number four, what's rule number four? Oh yeah, don't be a sucker, bruh. Nobody likes a sucker. If somebody perps, I need you to perp back. Or you're showing weakness. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Rule number five. You know what I'm saying? If somebody asks for a pencil brand, give it to them. Easy. Simple as that. It's just a pencil brand. You can take somebody else's next class, bro. Just give them the pencil. Mm. Alright. And let me get into detail about the first rule. You know what I'm saying? It's from personal experience. Alright, so I'm gonna give y'all an example, right? Say it's you and your man, right? And y'all go do something. And, and y'all get caught for it, okay? Don't fold. Deny, deny, deny. Always deny. Say y'all get caught for it, right? They gonna have y'all both in two separate rooms asking y'all the same questions. And if your man's a solid, he's not gonna snitch. And you just do the same thing. It does not matter what they offer you. It doesn't, bro. It literally does not matter. Just deny. And you'll be safe. I don't care. Whatever they're offering you is not worth snitching, bro. Trust me. Not worth snitching. What is it? Rule number two? I think rule number two is about the snacks. If it's not, I'm just going to cover everything. The snacks, bro. Time to talk about the snacks. Bro, if you going to bring out snacks, we'll share them. What the f- Share the snacks, bro. You can bring out some Cheetos and just... Eat them in front of everybody. Who raised you? You know what I'm saying? All I want is maybe two or three. And I'm going to ask even if I'm not hungry. Just to see what type of person you are. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Rule number three was what? I don't know, bro. I don't even know what the fuck I just told me. Now it's time to talk about the pencil situation. You know what I'm saying? If somebody asks for a pencil, give it to them. This is... This is not the most important rule, you know what I'm saying? But it's important nonetheless. If somebody asks you, if somebody asks you for a pencil and you don't give it to them, it shows them that you are. Nobody's gonna like you at that point. You know what I'm saying? Because you see somebody, see somebody struggling, just throw them a pencil. They gonna get you back sooner or later, or y'all gonna be cool. Boom, boom, boom. You made a friend. You made a friend by giving a pencil. You know what I'm saying? Easy. This is how you this is how you thrive in school. You're gonna be one of the cool guys. Cool kid. For giving someone a pencil. Uh, four. Four. Don't be a sucker. Never be a sucker. Right? So if somebody perps on you, definitely perp back. Cause if you don't, you're gonna be the sucker of the group. You hate to see it, bro. Being the sucker of the group is the worst thing possible. Because everybody, every time you walk past somebody, just smack your head in the hallway. And the female, females don't like to see that. And I'm not saying high school is all about females. But females don't want to see you just getting smacked around, bruh. 
sometimes you gotta put your foot down. And if you get suspended for a day, hey, by all means. But you know what it proves? You not a sucker. So somebody, somebody hit you with a little up, hit him with an up back. You know what I'm saying? Facts. All right, y'all. Um, now it's time for the bonus rules. You know what I'm saying? These are for the dudes watching. You know what I'm saying? First, first bonus rule. This is about the females. You know what I'm saying? Females, man, they like a laid back dude. You don't gotta be the loudest dude in the room to get the most attention. I'm telling you, you don't even have to be the best looking one in the room. A smart man said, if you can make her laugh and giggle, you can make her clap and jiggle. That's all I'ma say. That's all I'ma say about the females, you know what I'm saying? But nah, for real, you don't even gotta, you don't gotta be, you don't gotta have money, you don't gotta, none of that. All you gotta do is be a cool, just laid back dude with a cool personality. Shorty's gonna mess with you, bro. I don't have, I don't follow that advice because I obviously don't get any shorty, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Bonus rule number two. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point, bro. Honestly, I'm like, might... bonus rule, bonus rule number two. Know who your real friends are in high school, bro. Nine, nine times out of ten, the people that you was friends with in middle school are not going to be your friends when you graduate, bro. People change. People are constantly changing. You know what I'm saying? So you got you to gotta remember, they're going to they gonna try to be the cool kids, so they're going to snake you. They're going to forget all the times y'all spent in the past. They are going to snake you. Don't think, oh, yeah, my friend's not the type. No, you are definitely going to lose your friends. I'm just saying, I'm just speaking facts. I started with, like... 15, 15 friends, bruh. I got like seven, seven now that I can really like, that I really be with. Not even seven for real. I can count on one hand how many people I really, really be with. But nah, yeah. Friends change for sure. That's, that's a bonus rule. Bonus rule, but Bonus rule number three, you know what I'm saying? Be about your work for real. I kind of, I kind of messed up not being about my work, bro. In freshman year, I was an idiot fool. So, so stupid. But I just thought that's what I needed to do to be cool. That's not the case at all. I was so... I went to an all-boys school, bro. The math. It was so stupid, fool. Kind of messed up my whole little college plans, but it's whatever. You live and you learn, right? <laughs> I sound like a 40-year-old man right now. What am I talking about? But nah, facts though. Matter of fact, you don't, you don't gotta be stupid to fit in, bruh. You don't gotta be... You don't gotta dumb yourself down to be more cool. You know what I'm saying? Just be you. Keep doing your work, you know what I'm saying? Because college is, college is the most important, bruh. College... The people that you with now are only gonna be here for four years. Four years throughout the rest of your span of your life is like a little speck on a giant canvas, you know what I'm saying? I sound like Picasso right now. Four years of your life is a speck in a giant canvas. So don't don't change your whole life for a short amount of time, if that makes sense. I don't know what I'm talking about. I really sound like a college professor right now. Hold on, let me... Let me go get my glasses. Hold on. My bad, y'all. Uh, I had to go get the glasses, bro. Because I was speaking straight. My bad, y'all. I had to go get my glasses because I was speaking straight facts. I sounded like a cottage professor. Nigga, I sounded like I ruled the earth just now, bruh. Y'all don't understand. Like, I don't... That's That wasn't supposed to turn into that. This was supposed to be a, a funny video. I don't even know what, what I'm doing at this point. Am I changing my channel? Am I no longer... Uh, am I no longer funny? Do I speak on serious topics? Hold on. Oh shit, don't ever do that again. End of the video. 
Oh, I gotta get a thumbnail. Thumbnails!